the supplies you're going to need for this project are um, some markers, crayons, drawing paper. I have a printed template. If you would like access to that, I will send the file. You can print it at home or let me know and I can get you a copy through the school. The first thing we're going to do is, uh, if you're using the printed copy, take the wide point of just a regular marker and we're going to trace it and this will give it a nice bold outline. If you're wanting to create your circle at home, find something round that is roughly the width of the paper. I like to start everything with a pencil, so go ahead and give it a trace. Then you can use a straight edge, um, you can use a ruler, uh, a side of a notebook, a piece of cardboard from a cereal box, just something straight to help you divide your color wheel into six even sections. Do it as evenly as you can. Then pick up that marker and we are going to trace. Okay, next we are going to label our color wheel so that we are sure to put our colors in order. So just at the top of your paper, we're gonna write R, O, Y, G, B, V. So we've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. Normally we have uh, the color indigo in Roy G. Biv, but when we're talking about the color wheel here, uh, we usually only refer to these six colors. So go ahead and start coloring your color wheel in order. Now that we have our color wheel finished, we're going to cut it out so that we can get ready to create the background. All right, next you're going to decide what kind of an animal you'd like to do. For my examples, I have a turtle and a snail. If you come up with a different animal that has something round on them, some round component that you can use to um, incorporate your color wheel, go ahead and be creative and come up with you know something brand new. For the snail, I'm going to trace my circle onto the paper so that I can tell where the color wheel needs to be before I start adding the rest of my details. So for the snail, I want to make sure that I have enough room over to the left to create um, the head of the snail and the little skin part that goes down below the snail to help him crawl on the floor. Okay, so I'm going to start with two ovals for the eyes and add a rainbow shape on the inside. I want to connect it and come around for his face. Come down, do a wavy line across the bottom and bring it over for a little tail, connect the head to the body. We're gonna make a happy snail. Okay. We can create some grass along the bottom to add some depth to our picture. So now our snail is in the foreground, which means front. We can add some clouds in the background, which would be behind our snail. 
pick up that black marker, use the side to get a nice bold line, and go ahead and trace your pencil lines. Now, if you have a Sharpie, you could totally use a Sharpie at home. I like using a marker just to make those lines nice and bold. Okay. Now, if you notice, I go down past the line of um, where my color wheel goes. That's so if I happen to scooch my color wheel one way or the other, no white spaces will show. Okay, then you can go ahead and color. If you're doing the turtle, put your color wheel a little more centered on your paper, um, pretty similarly to how it was uh, when we traced and colored. Go ahead and get an outline for your circle so we know where to add our, tur our uh, turtle details. Add a head, some front arms or flippers, some back legs. These are really simple shapes and a little triangle for a tail. And let's add some fish. You could add some other pond plants if you want. Um, maybe you want to draw some little miniature turtles around the outside of your turtle. turtle. Um, go ahead and get creative, whatever you want to do. And we're going to trace. Again, don't forget to draw into the inside of where that color wheel is going slightly, um, just so that you can be sure that all of your white spaces will be covered when we go to glue the, the actual color wheel on. Add some color, and next we're going to glue on our um, turtle shell. So I was looking for glue, and I didn't have any in my drawer, but just put some glue on the back, flip it over, rub it down, and you're good to go. Don't forget to take pictures and upload them. I'd love to see your work. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.